hello guys it's your boy Denis here and welcome back to another video so in this video i'm gonna be showing you how to convert your 30 fps video into 60 fps real quick so let's say that you actually recorded a uh, youtube video but your computer isn't that really good so yeah so fps isn't really that good either too so uh i'm gonna show you um how to improve the fps of that so um, for this thing, you need something like a GTX 750Ti or a HD 7870 for AMD. Um, anything lower than that uh, will be not really good. I, I mean, not that good at all. But if you have like a GT card, um, like 700 series, don't please don't. Yeah, I hope I I hope that your GPU is actually powerful enough. I mean, not that super powerful. Maybe you just need something like a GT 1030 video card but okay so here's the proof of my uh recording software i'm using obs right now i'm it's, it's actually 60 fps even this one as you can see i'm recording on 60 fps so and uh, here is a 30 fps video i recorded so here's the proof that this is actually 30 fps so you're gonna want to go to the details and then here's the uh 30 fps video so we're gonna we're gonna play this thing so as you guys can see it's actually kind of you know, it's actually does it's actually smooth, but it's actually not that smooth if you, if you actually uh you know if you have like a um you know something like a really powerful PC PC, and you realize that this thing is actually not that smooth. I mean, I kind of I kind of noticed that this is actually smooth, but if you like look closely, it's not that smooth. So we're gonna want to convert that to 60 FPS. So we're gonna need a flow frames, but uh, this one is actually free. This. Uh, actually a software app and uh, to get this you're gonna want to open chrome and then search on flow frames and then oh, okay i think okay just if you're gonna search for it just please don't add space and then uh, click on the first one here oh click on the first link here and i'm gonna click on download now and then just wait for it and then just click on no things just take me to the downloads so uh, once you click that and then you can like select any options here and uh, I just choose the uh, um, archived op option so it will not install on the registry on my, on my computer so here's the proof that yeah, it actually converts to 30 FPS as you guys can see um, yeah it's pretty smooth it is really cool I guess and uh, yeah, so once you pretty much download that, of course, open the software app, and then this is what it looks like. So first of all, you're going to um, go to um, interpolation, and then you're going to want to uh, pretty much select the highest one here, latest general model, something like that. And because to get the uh, the best one as you can, if you have like an MP4 video, obviously use this, but if you have like a MKV video, uh, a format video you're gonna want to select this obviously and then I'm gonna go to quick settings and then the next tab um, uh, if, if you have like a 4k video it's actually uh, this one I think this is the right limit but if you have like something like a 8k and then I'll obviously put a uh, an 8k 8k resolution here because this one is pretty much limited so so I think that's it. So uh, and obviously I forgot about this thing. So in the interpolation, uh, you're gonna want to select the CUDA if you have like an NVIDIA GPU. Um, well, well, it will work in something like a GT 700 series because it's I think it needs uh, like a latest driver, you know. Um, because I think like some of the most video cards I saw like the GT 600 series. Uh, are pretty much getting outdated um or i mean no i think it's still updated I, I don't remember but if you it's to make sure that you have a, a really good gpu and then it supports the latest drivers and that's all i can say but uh, if you have like an amd or an intel gpu or igpu you're gonna want to uh, like use one of these things the other one the other options here you know so pretty much that's all i need so if you're done with the options here we're gonna click on the open queue and then obviously you're gonna drag the video here if it's in a folder then it's a folder because uh, you're gonna want to drag it on the uh, here so this is the 30 fps video that, you, that i showed you guys earlier i want you guys dragged it here just wait for like a few seconds this might actually pop out only just like few seconds 
Um, so it might actually take a while because uh, it's still actually processing. And uh, I see if if it's some, if something just popped in here, uh, you're good. And uh, as long as it's actually actually the right file here. So do okay. So we're gonna make sure that it's the input FPS is actually two times. So if you have a 30 FPS video, make it like two times. So so here's the input FPS. Just make sure to X to nothing, and then. Since this is a 30 FPS video, it's right. So, if you're planning to convert like higher FPS, I don't recommend it. It's because number one, it takes so fucking long. It, number two, it will have some rendering issues. And uh, three, yeah, buffering video or like uh, unstable video. And that's it. So I guess I'm gonna start the um, queue here. This might actually take a while, so please be patient. Okay, so once it's already finished, it it'll, it should look like something like this. And uh, if it's already finished, if it's already should have finished, it will say here finish queue processing. You can already go ahead um exit this thing out, and um here is the 30 FPS video, and this is the 60 FPS video. Let's compare them side by side. And this is the uh, 30 FPS. And and here is the 60 FPS. So I hope you guys enjoy my video and please like, share, and subscribe for more videos like this. See ya.